Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic, and today I'm going to be creating a really stupid idea that I saw on the internet once. And this involves a very unique approach to logging trees, because in survival mode, chopping down trees is a bit of a challenge. You got to create a saw mechanism that can you know, chop down the tree. And most people tend to take a ground-based approach to this for some reason, where you drive up to the tree and chop it down. Or sometimes they even just, they go so far as to use a hammer for the more, uh, the more basic and fragile trees. But the question that should be on all of our minds is why haven't we invested more time into aerial-based tree chopping? I mean, as long as we just overlook the outrageous fuel consumption, the heightened safety issues, and the overall massive difficulty difficulty increase, it seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to pursue. Now, in case you're wondering exactly what I'm talking about, this thing exists in real life, and it is a chainsaw that is swinging, dangling down from a helicopter. Not a big helicopter either. I don't know how anybody thought this was a good idea, but just look at this thing. This thing is, this thing is a monster. I don't know, it, it's... <laughs> Why would anybody approve this? It's literally like a dozen blades swinging from the bottom of a helicopter and they just use it to actually trim trees. Obviously, we can't really trim trees in Scrap Mechanic, but we can chop down trees. And I thought, look at this. Is that crazy? Is that crazy or what? It's just literally creating a flat wall of tree trimmings by flying down a corridor of trees with a chainsaw hanging down from a helicopter. It's the craziest idea I've ever seen. And also, this seems ridiculously dangerous. So this kind of invention fits the channel perfectly. I gotta do it. So there's two parts to this build. I'm gonna be building this completely from scratch. Uh, one is the helicopter. I'm actually gonna try to build a helicopter, and I have an interesting idea on how to power the helicopter, because obviously we don't have aerodynamics and scrap mechanics, so we gotta do thruster workarounds, but I'm gonna try to make it kind of behave like a helicopter would behave. And then of course, um, this th this creation seems to be perfectly suited for scrap mechanic because like we have saw blades exactly like that, that we can just attach to a line and power them with the helicopter. And the question's gonna be, am I gonna be able to control this thing in the air and chop down a tree? <laughs> Cause I can't imagine this giant thing dangling down from a helicopter makes it any easier to control the helicopter. All right, but first on the agenda is the helicopter. I'm obviously gonna choose the lightest material I can, which is a cardboard block, because I do not want this thing to be difficult to fly at all. All right, I think I got the basic chassis of the helicopter built here. So uh, it's already got yaw and pitch equipped, uh, not, con not programmed yet, but it's all gonna be controlled from the tail here. So now all that's left is the hard part. I gotta give this thing the ability to adjust its altitude, and I'm gonna try to do it in a way that kind of emulates how helicopters use collective pitch of their blades to go up and down. But obviously to counter the torque, I'm gonna have uh, two separate sets of propellers go spinning in opposite directions. All right, so I got the propellers hooked up and uh, turns out I don't even think I needed to worry about torque because they're gonna be on a free rotating bearing that is spun by the thrusters themselves. But now, oh, that's, in oh, that I realized I didn't set all the thrusters the same level. The top ones are on level one, and the bottom ones were on the maximum level. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. We're definitely going to have a weight distribution issue here. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get it covered somehow. I'll figure it out. Time to use some concrete blocks to offset the weight. You know what? One of the things I could do is just move this backwards. Oh, no. Okay. So now it hits the tail. <laughs> That's bad. That's really bad right there. All right, you know what? I've decided the double propeller just isn't worth the trouble. I don't need it. I don't need this double propeller. I'm gonna convert it into a quad propeller that is going in one direction rather than both directions. Okay, now how's it feel? Okay, that's good. That's actually pretty good. 
All right, so now what I have to do is find the angle, the, the right angle that these thrusters can face down where it starts to just negate the gravitational force. So we start almost hovering, but maybe slightly negative. You can see like it almost starts to happen. So right now I have them on 15 degrees. So I'm going to go up to 20 degrees. If this makes me go up into the air, then that's too much. And we just got to fine tune it until we're just barely. Get All right. So now it's too. Look at that. Look at the uh, weight distribution, though. The center of thrust is great for this right now. All right, so let's go 17 degrees. All right, 17 degrees isn't getting us anywhere. So let's just bump it up one degree at a time now, up to 18 degrees. Okay, there we go. Now we are going slightly up. So I think 17 degrees is actually perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to hook a button into this controller and that button is going to cause these thrusters to angle down another 15 degrees. And then this other controller is going to be our down controller, basically. Oh, I just realized this thing doesn't have roll right now. Whoops. Hold on. All right, I put the roll here. It's not very well centered, so it, there's probably going to be some torquing effect uh, as I do the roll, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so that also probably changes the weight distribution too. Oh man, this is going to be a nightmare. All right, well, let's see how it works. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now that we've added more weight, I can actually probably add some more degrees to this. All right, looks like 20 degrees is the perfect zone. All right, so now, check it out. When I press number one, I should slowly lift up off the ground, and then I can release to kind of start hovering more. Oh, let's go back down. There we go. I didn't test out any of my other controls. All right, this is my yaw. Oh no. There's a gyroscopic procession effect. Oh, that's bad. There, There is definitely a gyroscopic procession happening, which means that um, because that thing is spinning so much, when I try to pitch myself forward, it actually rolls myself to the right. So that's going to make controlling this thing very, very difficult. All right, but let's get back down to the ground. You know what? That might actually be a reason to bring back the double blades, to be honest. That means I got to take this whole thing apart. I've, in I've increased the thrust on my uh, tail here. So you can see when I go forward, it literally just translates it directly into roll right, even though that's the only force uh, happening. And that's a real thing that happens with helicopters, too. So, hey, realism and scrap mechanic or something. All right, but I am going to have to cancel out the gyro the, gyro the gyroscopic procession with um, a counter rotating blade here. OK, now that we have them rotating in opposite directions, does that cancel out gyroscopic perception or per per procession, not perception? <laughs> there we go. I think we got it. Roll is not very strong. I could increase the strength of those thrusters. But as far as our all of our other controls, they feel great. So yeah, the way that the uh, up and down works is just by doing this. So we can go up and level off. And then we can go back down. All without turning the thrusters on and off constantly. All right. Now, how's roll feel? Roll feels a little bit better now. Let's turn uh, follow camera on and let's fly this thing around and get a feel for it. So we should be able to fly around just by leaning forward and pressing up. There we go. This is feeling nice. Now, how practical is it going to be to carry around a giant chainsaw on this thing, do you think? <laughs> Probably not very practical. But I, as far as the helicopter goes, this thing, this is actually just a really nice helicopter. Let's just bring it in for a nice soft landing. Look at that. Couldn't ask for better. All right, I'm really, really happy with this. Let's paint this up and then work on the chainsaw bit. Okay, I don't know how many saw blades we want to put on this thing, but I'm going to say I don't want it to be too heavy. So I'm going to go with five because these saw blades proportionally are much bigger than the saw blades that I saw in the real life version. So I think that's roughly like a similar length right there. Even though it's going to make it a lot heavier, it'll probably make it easier if I have saw blades on both sides of this rather than just on one side so we don't end up getting caught trying to chop a tree with the wrong side of this thing. 
All right, so now we just gotta make this thing dangle from the helicopter, kind of like a chain would. I'm just gonna give it a handful of flexibility points here to really make it feel like it's, you know, dangling from a rope. Okay, now time to attach this thing. I'm gonna attach it right below the center of thrust. I believe that's where that is right there. And now I'm really probably gonna have to adjust the uh, the angle on our thrust because we're probably not gonna be able to lift off anymore. But now, well, let's see, let's see, let's see what happens. Let's just go for it. All right, lift up. There we go. And whoa, we can actually lift up. I was not expecting that. Barely, but we can. This might actually work. Oh, I just realized I have to power the saw blades too. All right, so the saw blades, I'm just gonna power them with a controller to keep it simple because if they're spinning too fast, like with an electric engine or a uh, a gas engine, they're probably just gonna bounce off the trees more likely than, um, whoops, than actually cutting them. All right, and now we have a functional chainsaw. I'm gonna bump our throttle up to 30 degrees of potential instead of 15 degrees. So we should have a lot stronger of a ability to go upwards. Holy cow, okay, that was a little bit much. <laughs> All right, now let's see here. Let's just go regular follow cam. All right, let's turn the saw blades on. All right, saw blades are now on. All right, and we're flying. We're doing it. Now, let's try to chop down our first tree. Here, let me get rid of that so we can actually see. I just realized how hard it's probably going to be to do this. I gotta chop them down from the top, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see what ha- There's no way this is really gonna work, is it? <laughs> There's no way this is gonna work at all. Oh, it's so hard to control. All right, get the tree saw blades. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys. Wait, is it? Oh, what? What just happened? We trimmed the tree. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, am I going to be able to recover from this? Oh, <gasps> no way. No way. All right, we're going back up in the air. All right, we've chopped the top of the tree down. We actually did like a trimming. Okay, you know what might be a little bit more reasonable is what if I just go to an all out forest? Then maybe I'll just get some accidental tree cutting. Now, let's just hover over these trees and see what happens. Oh, <gasps> no way! I just trimmed a tree! I just trimmed a tree without dying! This is great! Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Get under control, Scrap Man. Get under control. You know, the fact that this big metal thing is swinging underneath me does not make it any easier to fly this. Oh, come on, get that tree. Oh, I thought we were gonna get it. It was like resting on that tree. <laughs> I'm like, I'm hitting the trees and I can see that. Oh no, I'm falling. Okay. See, this is, why? This is why this is a bad idea. Okay, here we are. We're in the forest. Just gotta maintain control. I can't tell what's happening. Oh, I'm losing control. I've lost control. We're in a tree. All right, this one right here is looking pretty tall. What do you say we take this one down? It worked. It just worked. We trimmed that. All right, let's go on. Let's move on to the next one. Can we get two in a row? That was like, that happened so easy. I, I got a caught on a branch that was sticking out. That was, I think that was what made it so easy. Uh oh, oh, this is bad. I got it. No, I got it. I'm still in control. I'm still in control. That's two in a row. Two in a row without dying. <laughs> if that's your standard for feeling happy about your job, <gasps> three, three without dying. It's like I got, I had two successes and I'm still alive. That then uh, you might want to find a new job if that, if that's how your job feels. All right, we're going for a fourth. I think the bigger ones are almost easier because they have so many more branches to get caught on. Oh, uh, almost. Uh-oh, uh oh we're swinging. It's swinging a lot now. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, let's get this one then, since we're closer to that one. I'm just slowly lowering the average height of trees in this forest, one by one. I've gotten like five trees now. All right, here it goes. Oh, come on, come on, recover, recover. I've gotten like five or six trees now. This has been amazing. 
Oh, there we go. That wasn't the one I was going for, but it happened. We got one of the shorter ones. All right, here we go. This one right here. No, not enough. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Get control back, get control back. Okay, we're good. I don't feel quite as precise in my trimming job as what we saw in that video demonstration of the real life version. But it's my first day on the job, so, you know, cut me some slack. Oh, and I'm stuck in a tree again. Oh, I did it! There goes the tree, yes! <laughs> I actually chopped it at the bottom, wow. All right, I'm gonna say that we've actually successfully replicated the helicopter chainsaw tree trimming experience. It's pretty much just as hard as I thought it was going to be, although I, I had a lot more success with it than I expected, to be honest. But it's still extremely difficult to chop down anything, like, with much intent. Sometimes you just get lucky. But I'm really proud of this. This is an amazing mechanism. Now, how do I land this thing? Let's, uh, let's come back in down to the ground like this. And I guess we just, we just kind of land it like so. Just try not to chop yourself. Okay, what's, I don't know what's happening anymore. Nailed it, perfect. And there we have the chainsaw helicopter built from scratch to do one job and one job only, and it does it pretty well. Actually, it does it pretty terribly, but the fact that it does it is amazing in and of itself. Doesn't have to work great, just has to work, and this thing works. So if you guys enjoyed this, if you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can check out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.